Hello, I am Brittany Butler. I am a sophomore at the University of Arkansas, and I am currently an Honors Art History student. Today, I will be taking you through a journey where we will discuss Robert Henry's painting, Jessica Penn in Black with White Plumes. The museum was funded by the Waltons, with Alice Walton leading the undertaking. To many, the museum itself is a magnificent piece of artwork, being designed by the world-renowned architect Moshe Safdi. The collection covers over five centuries of artwork, but the late 19th century art exhibit room is where we will be focusing. When you walk into the end of the exhibit hall, you will be taken back by the massive painting of a woman dressed in black on the wall. There it stands, Robert Henry's painting, Jessica Penn in black with white plumes. Measuring to 77 inches by 38 inches, the painting takes over the space and captivates passer-goers. What is it about this painting that is just so breathtaking? Before we answer this question, I think we should first look at the history behind Robert Henry's life. Robert Henry lived from 1865 to 1929. During his lifetime, he painted many life-size portraits of women. The year 1902 was a defining moment in Henry's career. He started to become noticed for his full-length female portraits. From 1902 to 1908, Jessica Penn became his main model. He did many variations of the same style of portrait with her. One of the first paintings she sat for was his most famous painting, Young Woman in Black. In Robert Henry's Clean Slate, written by Hilary Hutter on January 10, 2014, she talks about Henry's life decades before he became the artist we know him as now. In his early life, he had to completely start over after his dad was involved in a scandal. The scandal involved an altercation with another man, which ended the other man's life. Because of this scandal, Robert Henry had to change his name as well as his entire life. I think he reflects this through his painting of Jessica. Jessica Penn, the model for the painting we are studying, was a dancer by profession. However, in this painting, he painted her in a nice dress and made her look very professional. In some sense, he was painting her as if she was living a different life, just like he had to do decades earlier. Hopefully, after analyzing the backstory, the viewer will find a new appreciation for the painting or even be able to connect with the painting more. Now we go back to the question, why is this painting so incredible? Is it the colors used, the size of the portrait, the detailing of the face? I believe the answer is the combination of all three. Let's first talk about the size of the painting. The painting is painted to proportion. The full length portrait created such space behind the model. As you can see, there is no obvious light source coming from the space behind the model. It looks as if there is a theater light straight on her, making it possible to see the difference between the dark dress and background. This allowed the black material on the black background to be more prominent and gave more detail throughout the bottom part of the dress. Henry fascinated people by creating this black-on-black -black illusion with the dress in the background. It forces the viewer to look at the contrast from the black to the white plumes and light face. The white plumes draw you in while leading the viewer's eyes to the face. Henry played with the light in this painting. The theater light source puts a great emphasis on the face. The model's red hair also highlights the face. The color definitely stands out in the spacious and bright Crystal Bridges Museum. The piece contrasts the light-covered walls of the museum so well. This allows the image to pop off the wall with its dark borders. The medium for this piece is oil on canvas with gestural brushwork. This would be used to show motion of the model. The monochromatic style was a very different type of portraiture with a dark palette. It is very interesting to see how Henry was able to have the background and dress both be the same color, yet you can see where the dress ends and the background begins. Like I said before, because of the dark palette, the white plumes and face definitely stand out. When you get close to the painting, you start to see the incredible detailing on the dress and face. As noted before, Jessica Penn, the model, was a dancer by profession.
The movement in the dress subtly highlights the fact that she was a dancer. The use of shadow helps illuminate the detailing and wrinkles of the dress. Crystal Bridges quoted Henry saying, Make the forms of a garment so that the trip through its hills and dales will be delightful. He obviously used great concentration when painting the dress so that every detail would be just right. However, his goal was to make the face the main feature of the portrait. Finally, we start to look at the woman's facial expressions. Henry captured her looking so poised, she exudes confidence. He accomplished his goal of having the audience focus on the face, because once you start to look at it, it is hard to look away from her gaze. Next, we will look at artists who may have influenced Henry in creating this portrait of Jessica Penn. According to Robert Henry, The Painted Spirit, Henry's portraits resemble that of Rembrandt, Halls, and Monet. The text goes further saying he learned to work not only with dark, contrasting tonalities, but also with aggressive, animated brushwork, which is particularly reminiscent of Halls. As you can see from the picture, there is definitely a resemblance between Halls and Henry. The dark palette with the common theme of black on black. Also, there is a similar intensity around the face due to the dark palette that encircles both. However, this is not a full-length portrait. Robert Henry was differing from many of these artists due to the fact that he did many full-length portraits, while others were doing the classic mid-torso. From looking at the paintings we have studied this year, Jessica Penn in black with white plumes also reminds me of the Baroque period. Rembrandt's work of art are categorized into this period. Like I said before, Henry's portraits were compared to that of Rembrandt's. As you can see on the right, self-portrait as St. Paul, the image taken from A History of Western Art, is the artwork that is being compared. Rembrandt also uses the dark palette, but highlights the face. The whole painting is rather hazy and blurred. However, the face has great detail. You can clearly see the wrinkles and the raised eyebrows in his face. There are differences, though. Jessica Penn, the model in Henry's painting, is dressed in black with a black background. Rembrandt's model is dressed in brown, so it doesn't match the background, and the painting has a light source that is coming from the back. But even with these contrasts, there is clearly still a resemblance between the two. During the time period that Henry created this painting, the 19th century Impressionism was coming to an end. The Impressionism movement was concerned with the effects of different types of lighting. We definitely see a focus on lighting in Henry's painting. Although this painting is dated during the 19th century Impressionism period, for me, this painting is timeless. While being assigned this research project, I had originally asked to do a different work of art. While at Crystal Bridges, however, I stumbled upon this piece and I fell in love. I immediately wanted to change my topic to this piece. As soon as I saw it, it made me feel empowered. The way she stands so tall, with her chin up, she looks like nothing can stop her. She looks so empowered and fierce. You can almost feel the confidence radiating off the painting. It is almost like she is walking down a runway and she is the only model in the show. The piece almost gives the observer confidence just by looking at it. As our class discussed at the very beginning of the semester, society today has distorted what true beauty is. Not just in today's world, but from the beginning of time, beauty has always been distorted. However, I believe that Henry was trying to capture the true beauty of Jessica Penn. The way she is moving so fluidly, it shows that she is confident in who she is. I think this is why I was so drawn to this painting. Seeing a woman with that much confidence in herself is someone I strive to be like. As Crystal Bridges mentioned in their description, Robert Henry may have gotten Jessica's name wrong in the title, but I believe her confidence in beauty is something he definitely got right.